Hello friends, in the last part of this video we had covered about how to see planets in gochar or transit or real time and today we will see how to see the results of these planets, how these planets activate other planets. Like when we look at this transit or real time position or gochar, there is always a confusion that what kind of results are going to come and how the results will come and then what about our dasha, antar dasha, pratyantar dasha? Or do we have to take the gochar or do we have to take the dasha, antar dasha, pratyantar dasha? And if we have to take both, then how do we match them? So basically, we look at our dasha, antar dasha, pratyantar dasha first and we assess the timings of the event from the gochar. And today I'll give you a shortcut as to how you can see that easily. Let us consider any example of any planet, let us say Saturn in your horoscope. Now, this is the horoscope made for Cancer Ascendant for 1st May 2022 and this is the placement of the planets in Gochar at that time. Now, when we look at the results of Saturn, consider Saturn as a light bulb and the nakshatra of Saturn as the switch of that light bulb. Now, whichever planet comes in Gochar in this nakshatra will activate Saturn. The planet in Gochar will come to the nakshatra, it will press the light bulb switch and the bulb will come on. That is, Saturn will get activated at that point. But that will happen only if Saturn is in your dasha, antar dasha, pratyantar dasha. Only then it will happen. Other than that, it is not going to give much of a major effect. Now, suppose we want to see an event, let us say marriage. Now we see that Saturn is the lord of the seventh house. And seventh house indicates marriage. And now Jupiter, when it comes to the nakshatra of Saturn, is going to activate Saturn and thereby marriage will be activated. But how do we know? Now that the planet in transit is in the nakshatra of which other planet because in our horoscope that information may not be available. So in case you look at your horoscope on a computer screen in that case when you look go to the transit or gocha since it is a big screen most of the softwares will give where the planets are placed in nakshatra of which other planet at that time. But if you are looking on mobile then this data may not be available and in that case what you can do is to whatever date you want to know the gochar you feed that date and make a new horoscope of that date and then go to the planets details and there you will find every planet is in the nakshatra which other planet you will easily come to know that and in case you want to know more about this then please go to our playlist which is called kundli kaise dekhe in which we have made videos to explain all these basics. Now another example we take, suppose we take that this person wants to purchase a vehicle. Now vehicle is represented from the 4th house and we see that Ketu is placed in the 4th house. So now here some planet has to come in the nakshatra of Ketu to activate Ketu and whenever a planet comes in the nakshatra of Ketu in that case, Ketu will be activated and this will be a good time for this person to buy a vehicle. So this is how the planets in Gochar work. We must remember that the planet in Gochar will come in the nakshatra of some other planet and it will activate that planet in your horoscope only if that planet is also there in the dasha, antar dasha, pratyantar dasha. These three are the major, the other Ran Dasha, Sukshmit Dasha are really of a very small duration. So we don't give as much importance to those Dashas. So I hope you would have understood this concept. See you in the next video. Thank you.